Hey guys, I'm back today with another recipe and today we're making a New Zealand style meatloaf. And here's the ingredients that you will need. You will need onion, celery, shredded carrots, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, salt and black pepper, honey mustard, parsley, curry powder, cumin, one egg, milk, three slices of bread that I've already removed the edges or crust around from them. And of course, the ground beef. And I'll come back in a minute once we get all this together and we'll work on the sauce. But right now, let's okay. get this ready. Now what we're going to do, I've taken my meat and placed it in a bowl. And now we're just going to add the ingredients that you saw earlier. My parsley goes in. My honey Dijon mustard goes in. Or honey mustard. Uh, whatever you can use Dijon mustard and I think that's what's on my mind I didn't have any more of the Dijon so I use honey we're going to use a uh, salt and black pepper and you know I will have the ingredients on my blog the Worcestershire sauce the milk <laughs> the celery and onion Carrots, the egg, and that's our binder. And our curry powder. And I have to open, which I should have did already. Open my cumin pack. And lastly, the bread. So we're going to take our bread, tear it up just like that. And if you have bacon, it goes well. And if you want to add sausage to it, it goes well also. So don't limit yourself to the recipe. So what we're going to do now is mix everything in together. Make sure you have everything well incorporated together. You want to mix everything really, really good and just kind of, you know, mash it out with your hand or whatever you want to do. But just make sure that you put everything together. Smells good already. <laughs> So, I'll be right back and we'll get ready to place this in the oven. Go ahead, if you haven't already, and I should have said that, so you probably don't know. So, we're going to bake this in the oven, of course. And we're going to bake it at 375. And we're going to bake it for 30 minutes. And then we'll start working on our sauce to go on top. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm just going to take this. Place it in a pan. And what we're going to do, pretty much, is shape it into a loaf. There's my oven telling me, come on, I'm ready. So go ahead and preheat your oven. Then once you get everything together, you can do this recipe. But if you like yours flat like I do, then flatten it out a little bit with your hand. Or if you want to shape it more into a loaf loaf like that, then do it like that. So it's all up to you how you want your loaf shape. So now let's pop it in the oven. 375 for 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back and we are at the 30 minute mark. And now we're going to make the sauce, but before we do that, we need to remove our meatloaf out of the oven and drain it as much as possible, and then we'll move to this step. Okay, so I've drained it, and I just placed it on the side for a minute, 
And now we're going to go over the ingredients for the sauce. We're going to have some ketchup here, or we have ketchup here. <laughs> some Worcestershire sauce right there. Some honey, coffee, brown sugar, and I'm just using the light, or you can use the dark sugar. And some water and white wine vinegar is there. I've already mixed it together. So pretty much what we're going to do, we're just going to place this in a saucepan. And then we'll blend it all or mix it all together and then we'll pour it over the meatloaf. So let's go. Okay, so I'm back. I've added everything into the saucepan here and we're just going to wait for it to start cooking. And as you saw earlier, I added the brown sugar, the coffee, the honey, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, white wine vinegar, and the water. So let's just get this a minute, give it a minute to um, start heating up. And we'll be right back. Okay, so it's starting to boil, and that's what we want. So we're just going to take this and pour it over the meatloaf. Now, if you don't want all of the measurements or ingredients in it, then you can omit, or you can just taste it a little bit. You know, let it cool off, taste it, and um, see if you like it. Add, omit, subtract, whatever you want to do. <laughs> but anyway, that's the basis of the sauce. So I'm just going to cut this off, just for a second, let it cool down, and then we'll come back and add it to our meatloaf and place it back in the oven at 375 for 30 more minutes. Okay, I just placed the sauce over it, and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and still cook it at 375, but if you'd like to cut it down to 350 or 325, you can. And we're just going to baste it a little bit, so grab a turkey baster or some type of meat baster whatever you have, or a spoon, and, and um, baste it as it cooks. Okay, I poured the sauce over it, and I thought I took a shot of me doing that, but that's okay. What I'm doing now, I just took it out of the oven, or you can leave it in and just pretty much baste it. So all we want to do is baste it, place it back in the oven. If you, wow. Anyways, well, wow. so anyways, we just want to take it and baste it and place it back in the oven. Okay, everyone, here it is. If you think the 30 minutes is too long, you can go ahead and cut the time down after you take it out and place your sauce on. If you think it's too long, go ahead and put it on 20 minutes or whatever you feel comfortable with baking your meatloaf as you always do. So anyways, here it is. I'm just going to eat it with some size of mashed potatoes and steamed broccoli. You can do any size that you like. So, as always, I hope you try this. Have a great night.